so today we are going to discuss penicillin enrichment technique so penicillin enrichment technique this te test or this technique is performed for selection of oxotrophic mutants so the purpose of performing this test is for selection of oxotrophic mutants right so whenever we are desired suppose we want to select only the oxotrophic mutants from a mixture of both oxotrophs as well as prototrophs so then we can perform this penicillin enrichment technique this method we can perform where we will only select for oxotrophs and we will discard or we will not take into account the prototrophs right so this is this test is uh, for that. Now let us see the, the protocol for this test. So we take a test tube and in this test tube the media that we take it is actually called as a glucose salt broth. Okay. So the media is actually glucose salt broth and in this media as you can see in this figure this media contains both prototrophs as well as oxotrophs okay so now we need to separate the oxotrophs as well as uh, we need to separate the prototrophs from the oxotrophs okay our desired microbes are the oxotrophs now if you if if you recapitulate it what are prototrophs prototrophs are those bacterial cells which can synthesize all of the nutrients required for their growth okay they can synthesize uh, all nutrients required for their growth. Those types of bacterial cells, uh, these are called as the prototrophs. Now, uh, in case of all the oxotrophs, oxotrophs are di uh, different from prototrophs in that they will not, they can synthesize almost all the, uh, the uh, nutrients required for the growth, but they will not be able or will be deficient in synthesizing one particular nutrient required for the growth and that is why they are called as oxotrophs. So this is the main difference between oxotrophs and uh, prototrophs. Now this concept is very important because on the basis of this concept we perform uh, this test. So this prototroph can synthesize all, all of the nutrients that will be required for the growth of the prototroph but this oxotroph will be deficient on, in only one of the nutrient that will be required for the growth of the oxotroph right so this is the main difference prototrophs can synthesize all the nutrients required for this growth oxotrophs will be able to synthesize all the nutrients but it will be deficient in only one nutrient that is uh, required for the growth and because of that oxotrophs Okay, when added to any medium that lacks that that particular nutrient will not be able to grow. If, if we supplement the uh, nutrient that the oxotroph is lacking, okay, if we supplement that into the media from outside, then only the oxotroph will be able to grow. Otherwise, oxotroph will not be able to grow. This is the main difference. So here we are intending to select for oxotrophs from prototrophs on the basis of this principle. Okay. So what do we do? Since this glucose salt broth contains both prototrophs as well as heterotrophs, first we centrifuge this. Okay, to uh, to collect the cell. Okay, we collect, we discard the supernatant. We discard the supernatant, and we only take the cell pellet because here in the cell pellet we have all the cells, including the oxotrophic cells and the prototrophic cells. Okay, so after collecting the cell pellet, we resuspend it in a medium that can, that lacks one particular nutrient. Okay, and we add penicillin to the media. Why this media lacks one particular nutrient? Because it is this medium is lacking that particular nutrient that the oxotroph is not able to synthesize. That is why in this medium, oxotroph will not be able to grow. But prototrophs, because they have all the nutrients for the growth, they can easily grow in this media. So the purpose of designing this medium uh, in uh, the, such that this medium lacks one particular essential nutrient is that we do not want oxotrophs to grow in this medium. Okay. 
but we want total crops to grow into this medium. This medium lacks that particular essential nutrient which the oxotroph is also lacking. So that is why oxotroph will not be able to grow and the prototrophs will be able to grow in this medium and we are also adding penicillin to this medium. So after that what in this new medium in this new test tube, what you what you can see prototrophs can grow and 19 once the prototrophs grows they are 99 percent of them are getting killed by penicillin because we have added penicillin and penicillin is killing the prototrophs and because this medium lacks one particular essential nutrient which the oxotrophs are also lacking so oxotrophs will not be able to grow in this medium and hence they are also not killed so what happens after a substantial amount of time almost all the prototrophs will get killed and the medium will be enriched with, with oxotrophs that means the medium will only contain oxotrophs now after this we transfer it to a new medium and we plate it on agar solution so what happens as you can see now this new medium that we are using this medium contains all the necessary nutrients required for the growth of the oxotrophic mutants so now what happens oxotrophs uh, can easily grow in this new medium okay this the, the this new medium contains all the nutrients required for the growth of the oxotrophs so the oxotrophs can easily grow in this new medium okay as well as some prototrophs will also grow because they already have the necessary nutrient for growth so they don't need any ex they don't need any supplementation of any additional nutrient so nine the one percent prototrophs which have not been killed by penicillin so these one percent prototrophs will also grow in this new medium so what we do from this medium we isolate or we take out the oxotrophic cells okay we, we can choose the oxotrophic cells from this medium because the oxotrophs are the desired uh, the cells that we are uh, looking for and the rest we replica plate it we, uh, we pick and choose the prototrophs and we plate it on a new medium and this uh, this process is called as replica plating okay so what we are doing we are taking first a glucose broth which contains both prototrophs and as well as oxotrophs we are centrifuging it to collect the cell pellet and we are discarding the supernatant why because this cell pellet contains the all the cells oxotrophic cells as well as the prototrophic cells next we are resuspending this cell pellet into a medium that lacks one particular essential nutrient that that the oxotrophic cells are also lacking okay so that is why the oxotrophic cells will not be able to grow in this new medium but the prototrophs as you know they can easily uh, synthesize all the nutrients for their growth they do not need any supplementation of nutrients so they can grow in this new medium and we are also adding penicillin so what happens in this since this medium lacks one particular nutrient oxotrophs will not be able to grow but prototrophs will grow and they will be killed by penicillin so once they are killed the medium becomes enriched with oxotrophs okay and then to uh, neutralize the penicillin we add penicillin as this enzyme deactivates the penicillin because otherwise what happens when you plate it plate the oxotrophs on a new medium if penicillin remains that will also kill the oxotrophs so we don't want that so we add penicillin as now to deactivate the penicillin and then we transfer it into a new medium now this new medium contains all the nutrients required for the growth of the oxotrophs okay here we have supplemented that particular essential nutrient also uh, the, that is that the oxotrophic cells are also lacking so here oxotrophs and the one percent prototrophs which have not been killed by penicillin they will also grow so here we collect the oxotrophic cells we can choose and we replica plate the rest of the prototrophic cells onto a new medium to collect the prototrophic cells so in this way we have separated prototrophs from oxotrophs okay we have separated prototrophs from oxotrophs so this medium contains prototrophs and this medium the previous medium from here we have isolated the oxotrophs also separated prototrophs from oxotrophs
okay so the this is the this was our goal now someone may ask why why we are replica plating here replica plating as you know my uh, so replica plating is mainly performed because to screen for a desired phenotype okay so this replica plating technique uh, i will uh, talk about it in a separate video so replica plating is mainly used to screen for a particular phenotype so here after collection of oxotropes in from this medium we also desire to collect all the prototropic cells also so we are replica plating the prototropic cells onto new medium and then we are collecting the prototropic cells from this second medium okay so replica plating is mainly performed for desired phenotype selection of so or the screening of desired phenotype this is the main purpose of replica plating so all together this penicillin enrichment technique why it is called enrichment because here as you can see once the prototropes are be getting killed by the bacteria uh, they are getting killed by the penicillin okay so the medium becomes enriched with oxotropes so you are what what you are doing actually you are killing all the penicillin you are killing all the prototropes by the use of penicillin and once you kill the uh, prototropes with penicillin the medium becomes enriched with oxotropes so that is why because penicillin is helping in the enrichment of the medium with oxotropes so this type of uh, test is described as or being called as a penicillin enrichment technique